It's Tuesday, January 16th, and Team DT is back from CES. We hope you got a chance to look around at our comprehensive coverage. If not, we have a few links below you might find interesting. But now that CES is over, it's back to reality and waiting for all that great new gear to show up. We'll keep you updated. Anyway, Google is making news today with their new big push into cloud computing, something that so far has been dominated by Amazon and others. Business Insider reports that Google, which operates under the Alphabet umbrella, is planning to roll out three new undersea data cables by next year in a bid to expand its cloud-based offering to more regions around the globe. It's all part of a $30 billion infrastructure push that will include data centers and other facilities in the Netherlands, Hong Kong, Montreal, Finland, and that faraway country of Los Angeles, wherever that is. Undersea internet cables carry about 90% of the international internet traffic, so they're key to speeding up data moving between continents. We've got more information at the link. Quick heads up if you're still rocking Microsoft's Windows 8.1 operating system. Today is the last day Redmond is going to provide a free upgrade to Windows 10. Windows 8.1 originally landed on PCs five years ago, but at some point, Microsoft ends support for old operating systems, and today is pretty much that day. There won't be any more updates or bug fixes going forward, although you're not totally in the dark. Microsoft will continue to provide security updates for the OS until 2023. If you need some help or more information on upgrading at long last to Windows 10, just hit the link below. CarTech was a big deal at CES and hot on the heels of the annual Tech Fest is the 2018 North American International Auto Show, also just known as the Detroit Auto Show, which is going on now in Detroit. Ford is in attendance, of course, and they've brought two cars to the show worth mentioning, especially since they're the same car, just 50 years apart. We're talking about the Bullet Mustang, of course, the iconic mean green fastback machine driven by the king of cool Steve McQueen in the movie Bullet. The car, the actual car, has been in the hands of a single family for decades, and Ford just debuted a new tribute Bullet Mustang for 2019 to celebrate the 50-year anniversary of the movie. They also borrowed the original car from its current owner, whose father paid $6,000 for it in 1974. The unrestored original Bullet Mustang is still a runner, and many collectors consider it the holy grail of movie cars, with a value perhaps north of $4 million. The owner gave Steve McQueen's granddaughter a seat in the car in this cool video, and he says he has no plans to sell it. Check out the new and original Bullet Mustangs at the link below. That's it for DT Daily today. Be sure to check out our CES Roundup, as well as our Facebook page and YouTube channels, and we'll be back tomorrow with more of the latest tech news.